cruise news time and, and this one's interesting we have our first small cruise line dropping pre-cruise testing also a big announcement coming out from people traveling to and fro uh, canada and uh, royal caribbean relaxing relaxing some of their vaccine protocols plus there's a controversy brewing in my heart a controversy about chicken sandwiches cruise ship chicken sandwiches cruise line chicken chicken sandwiches cruise news Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. And uh, the first story is a banger. Uncruise, the, the small cruise line that operates cruises in Alaska, they've come out and said they're going to do away with the pre-cruise testing on March the 25th, falling in line with all of the positive things that are coming forth uh, from the CDC, reducing the threat level, the dropping Omicron numbers. And look, uh, they only operate cruise ships that are 250 passengers and less. And so is it comparable to a large cruise line, any of the big four, big eight, however many? We want? Certainly, it, it's a lot of a different situation but what i have noticed in the past as i've done this on a daily basis is sometimes the way the small cruise lines go well eventually the big cruise lines follow uncruise one of the first to require a vaccine and so uh yeah uh, it, it's good news look it, it doesn't mean that uh, in short fashion the large cruise lines will be dropping their vaccine mandate but uh it might I don't know. Uh, again, like like I've said, we've seen trending before where what happens with uncruise often happens with the larger cruise line. So this could be a step in the right direction. It'll be interesting if they drop that testing mandate and, and they're able to cruise without any substantial increase in cases. Uh, maybe that would become a nice use case for some, uh, some do-gooder in one of these cruise lines at one of their corporate roundtable meetings that you know you go to every Thursday at 9 a.m. I don't know. Uh, I've been in those meetings. But maybe it'll be the time where uh, you know some guy looking for a little extra credit will be like, hey, did you hear Uncruise drop the testing? Could we try that? That's uh, corporate life, guys. <laughs> no, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, that's exciting news. Right. Cruise news story number two. It's also a good one. Oh, Canada. Can you drop the requirement for testing for vaccinated people coming into your country by land and air? They said yes. How about that? There is an expected announcement today coming from the Canadian government where they will announce that you no longer need a test if you're vaccinated to get into Canada by land or air. And uh, the, the speculation is that this will take effect fairly quickly. So possibly by the beginning of April, people traveling into Canada will not need a test to get into Canada, which is great for all of our Canadian friends. Don Terrace, I'm talking to you. Doug Bray, I'm talking. It's great for all of our Canadian friends that are trying to... Uh, you know, do the cruise thing down here in the U.S., they will not have that back-end hassle of how to get home. How about that? And then I'm sure it's great for anybody that's just wanting to drive across the border to go to Canada. Lots of goodness. Lots of goodness. I really hope that that comes to fruition today on uh, March the 17th, 2022. It's St. Patty's Day, y'all. Look, Jenny made me do that DNA thing. I found out. I used to think I was Irish, but I'm mostly Scottish, Scottish, and English. And so I'm still excited for St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day uh, to all of our Irish friends. And happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody who's celebrating the St. Patrick's Day. Uh, cruise news story number three. Well, but we really only got three cruise news stories. I, look, I'm, I'm working out the programming on the fly. I got to tell you about Royal relaxing their vaccine uh, protocols, and we got to have the, the chicken sandwich conversation. I, I'm going to do that, but first... But first, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in... Oh, I feel like um, that guy in Street Fighter. Haruken! Everything that's going on in cruising... Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes or any of these fire dance moves. Uh, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. You get notified when the new show comes out. And then uh, I'll teach you how to do this. All right. Thank you in advance. Royal Caribbean going the way of Carnival saying that if you are unvaccinated, well, even going further than Carnival, if you are unvaccinated, you can get off the cruise ship without an excursion. You can excurt freely uh, without needing to be on a bubble tour or any ship sponsored excursion there are a few exceptions to it let me tell you the places where it does not apply 
But this is big news, especially for people traveling with kids that are unvaccinated, that have been saddled by doing ship-only excursions or bubble excursions. I've talked to people like that, and it's been a hassle. And so this is exciting news. Uh, but let me tell you the places where it doesn't matter. You still have to have an excursion. Those places are Barbados, Falmouth, Jamaica, St. Lucia, Dominica, and St. Vincent. So uh, if your plans are to go to any of those places and you have somebody unvaccinated in your party, you'll still have to do a ship excursion, that kind of thing. And then uh, none of this gets you out of any of the regulations that are a part of the port. So if the port requires you to have a vaccine card to get into a restaurant, again, we've heard that for a couple ports that we've gone to recently, but then I've gone into restaurants, they don't say anything about it. So uh, of course, you know, it's best to follow the rules, obviously. And so if you get off at a port where they say you need that stuff, you, you need to be cognizant of that. But uh, yeah, uh, Royal Caribbean. So this, I feel like we're building a story today. Yeah, I also did a lot of reading about the, the next Omicron variant, right? So I'm, I'm trying to temper my excitement. Uh, you know, I, I'm a study of history and we've had interesting history to study over the last couple years. And so I'm excited to see all these protocols uh, dropping off. I'm excited to see the infection rates dropping off here in the United States. But if you're trending and watching what's going on around the world, some of the indicators that we've seen go up have been going up. So uh, again, I'm trying to temper it. I'm trying to enjoy the good times right now. Uh, but yes, the trend that we see, at least with cruising right now, is a relaxation of the protocols. Uh, we don't really see a big spike in the the numbers right now in case counts uh, of severe COVID. So all that works out to be pretty good. Uh, but we will continue to watch it. And now... Uh, are, how many of you are going to leave because you don't want to hear about chicken sandwiches? I'm going to try to make it as exciting as possible. Look, uh, I cruise with uh, our friends J and D, uh, Para DJ. Make sure you check out. Can I give a shout out to YouTube channels really quick? Uh, and then I'll get into the chicken sandwich. Para DJ, they put out vlogs every day. Love those guys. Got to cruise with them on um, the, the, the magic, the Disney magic. It was our first Disney experience together. I'm going to circle back around to them. There's a lot of cruisers trying to hit milestones. And I do believe that the strength of the cruiser creator community helps all cruisers. So please go support some of these creators. Uh, EECC travel, almost to a hundred thousand. Jay at the ship life, almost to a hundred thousand. Sherry cruise tips TV, almost to 100,000. And then a big shout out to our friends, Griffin, Alyssa, who just hit 50,000. And there's a programming note. We're going to do a live stream or I'm going to do a live stream with Griffin and Alyssa tonight. I don't even know what we're going to talk about. I need to sit down and do some questions. They were on Wonder of the Seas. They just hit 50,000. Uh, I will leave links to all those channels that I mentioned uh, in the first comment. So please, if you got room in your sub feed and you want some other interesting stuff other than other than me waving my hands like a crazy man, uh, this, is, this is my trademark, right? Uh, other than that, uh, how am I doing with autofocus? I, look, I, I heated the call. I, I figured out how to widen the focus. Go follow these people. All right, back to Parrot DJ. When I was with Parrot DJ on the Disney Magic, uh, there was a couple conversations around the secret chicken sandwich at Perfect Day at Coco K. And uh, I'm not saying they were judging me. I'm not saying Jay. I mean, gosh, uh, great connection with Jay. We had a really good time. I'm not saying that Jay was judging me because I had not had the chicken sandwich at the Perfect Day at Coco K, the secret chicken sandwich. But on some level, I think Jay was judging me because I had not had the uh, the chicken sandwich. Perfect day, so I did it. Let me here's let me, roll the footage. This is it. This is the secret chicken sandwich at Perfect Day at Coco K. It's their chicken sandwich, but they also take one of their side items, the mozzarella cheese sticks. I have to say mozzarella, or Jenny will come in here and hit me in the head. Uh, the mozzarella cheese sticks, uh, they take that, they put it on the chicken sandwich, they cover it up with some marinara. Bada boom, bada bing. It was delicious. Look, they had a funnel cake there. They forced me to try that too, but I did have a Diet Coke. That's right, because I'm watching my weight. Uh, anybody that's concerned about that, yes, it all works with Weight Watchers. We're still losing weight. Everything is beautiful. Let the boy eat a chicken sandwich. I had to do it because I was getting uh, judged by Jay from Pair DJ. That's all a joke. Before anybody goes freaking crazy, uh, we have a great relationship, and uh, I, he did want me to try that chicken sandwich. Uh, it was delicious. Now that I've had it, though, the challenge for me is one of the things I really like the most on the Mardi Gras, Carnival Mardi Gras, was Shaq's Big Chicken. And look, on Shaq's Big Chicken, on the Carnival Mardi Gras, my favorite chicken sandwich there was the Big Aristotle. Look, I pulled up the menu so I can tell you exactly what was on it. Munster cheese, crispy fried onions, bacon, sweet and smoky Memphis barbecue sauce. Uh, this is the sandwich. It was delicious. Like that was the first thing I had on the carnival Mardi Gras and everything else 
paled in comparison that week. How could a chicken sandwich dominate the good food on the Mardi Gras? Well, it certainly did. But now here I am at the crossroads. I'm at the, I'm like Daniel John. I'm at the crossroads. What's what's the answer? What what is better? Is the secret chicken sandwich from Coco K? Is it better than the Shaq's Big Aristotle? In my mind, I don't know. Like I think there's room in my heart for both of those chicken sandwiches. And look, I worked at Burger King when I was in high school, and I, I used to make all these Frankenstein chicken sandwiches, anyways. So I've had a chicken sandwich before with the uh, mozzarella cheese and marinara and mozzarella cheese, and it was delicious. I I, I love the original Burger King. I've also had a, a chicken. Uh, Big Aristotle, that's my answer. Come at me, bro. Uh, it's your turn. Sound off in the comments. What do you think about Uncruise dropping the testing? What do you think about uh, Canada opening up? What do you think about Royal Caribbean? What do you think about the chicken sandwich? Only you can prevent forest fires. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you realize that I certainly enjoyed it. Uh, please hit the like button. And look, if you fail to hit the like button, I'll be forced to punish you. And your punishment is this. Uh, going forth from now until the end of days, uh, the only chicken sandwich you'll be allowed to get will be plain. And it will be slightly under seasoned. So plain, slightly under seasoned. Your chicken sandwich run ends right now today. If you do not hit the like button, this is Tony for La Lita Loca. And until the next time... We'll see you on the Lido. Bye.